104, the post-fight recap right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A, and thank you for tuning in to the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Now, we are doing a nice little uh, discovery post-fight recap, making his pro debut, Bekzoi Tursun Bov. Um, uh, you Beckenstein, I found him on the undercard of uh, Quatrillo Abu Kwakrev, taking on Tawaha Kaduki, Kaduku, welterweight number four, silver welterweight champion. Watch out for my boy. I like him. That's who I'm pressing. I push Caleb Plant and I push Rocky Fielding, but for the for the super middleweights, I mean super yeah, super middleweights, I push uh Caleb Plant. For the, uh, I think it's a light flyweights or whatever, super super lightweights, whatever. The 108 pounds. I push, I push Ken Shiro. For the welterweights, I'm pushing. I've been pushing a uh, Quatrillo for the year this show has been created. So those are the three people I found on this show that I'm really pushing. Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. You know, I even I kind of found Quatrillo before I created this show. Now, back to uh, Beck, Beckzoy Terson Boev making his pro debut. He took out uh, Roy Muskis in uh, one round. You know, he has a nice, like these Ubekensteins on the uh, Vladimir Boxing Club, they all work the body. They work the body nice, but this dude has a he he works behind a strong jab, doubles the jab up, good hand speed, up and down mixture of punches. He hit behind a jab, and what he does, he gives you a nice mixture of the left hand. So he's gonna come with the jab. You don't know if it's gonna come with a left behind it, or he he, he does this type of thing. He do this motion, and I, you don't know. There's one he goes right. Bow left or right, right. And he'll go like this, then he'll swing it, or he'll go left, and he'll go straight to the a body with a nice bolo shot. He does a nice mixture. Or he'll stop it, and he'll stop it. You know, you, you don't know when it's coming. He'll go st- up with it, come down with it, stop it. So he keeps you, keeps you like, and when you're doing this, boom, here comes the right hand. Then you're over there watching that left, this crazy windmill thing. Boom, hook to the body. Then when you're blocking that, here comes the left to the head. Good mixture of good mixture with that left hand, whether it's a the follow up behind the right jab, the bolo body shot, the bolo to the back to the head. Great keeps keeps his opponents guessing. Like I said, he fought Roy Musculus of out of Poland. Now he was a lightweight moving up. I I, I give him that. But, you know, his experience was incredible. He has the rounds, so I'm going to look him up. I had it saved, but I deleted it by accident. Uh, but he was like 20, 25 and like 9 or something like that. Incredible amount of experience. Quatrillo. He had the experience going on for him. He 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 like I said, what I do like about him, he wasn't just a one jabber, he was double jabbing, getting in close. He wasn't hooking himself in. He he, he was able to really break down the distance, get himself within the punching range, and then do his work. You see a lot of especially young fighters rely on some power and really not jab themselves in, just try and walk themselves in, get picked off and, and throw some hooks and stuff. He 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 got himself in with a double jab. I'm trying to find, trying to find, so see if I can find the guy he fought for you guys. Roy, you know, taking a little time here, but deal with me. Appreciate it. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you for taking the time to learn. If you don't already know these guys, here he is. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking.
jumped up to the wrong name. All right, 29. Well, now he's 29, 8, and 3. Like I said, he, he came up from lightweight. His comp, you know, he didn't face the, the greatest competition. You know, at least not the world, but he has 233 rounds of experience in his uh, Beckzoid's pro debut. So to get all that experience in your first fight, you know, 55 knockout ratio, nickname is the Sniper out of Indonesia. Like I said, he's coming up from lightweight, his competition, you know, I could see he fought Dennis Shepanov. You know, that's probably the... the only name I really, really recognize on his, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, Asian names on here. So if you follow the smaller bracket, you might recognize some of these names. But yeah, like I said, Beck, Beck Zoy looked really good. Like I said, you guys, you guys should follow these, your, Beck and, your Beckensteins. Man. Like I said, I discovered them because I knew Quattrillo. So I was watching him stay busy on his eight round defending that WBC. And then I knew the other co-main event, the super middleweight silver title shot, uh, Ezeki Beck. So I thought, okay, cool. I know the, I know Quadrillo. I know Ezeki Beck. Then I saw him. Well, let me watch these other two dudes, you know, from the same camp. You know, the other dude is uh, Ula Beck. Well, I'm about to get into him right now. So Beck Zoy. Looked really good. One round destruction of uh, Roy Meskis. Like I said, he does a nice jab. Comes with the left. Comes with a nice underhand back to the face. Underhand to the body. And that's how he beat him. He, he, he kept attacking his body. And finally, he caught him with that bolo left to the body. And just got a... The dude tried to skate, skate away again. <clears throat> Late reaction. He goes down like, oh, shit. He, he just can't get up. The double RT boxing show. Discovering a new pro debut. Hopefully you guys watch him, follow his career on the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for your support.